the spot route here is a two-man spot for the outside receiver to the weak side. It's going to get in between the outside backer and the inside backer, which in this case is the mic. Second receiver slot in this case is going to get in between the outside backer and the inside backer, which in this case is a, it's a Sam and the mic. Sit down in that five to seven yard range. First man, you stick your foot down and break away. First zone, you want to settle in there and look for the soft shoulder. Look for the ball if you see linebackers disappear or you get some type of blitz. Both backs are going to release free. Stretch the flat defender as fast as possible. If you have three by one to the strong side, the bubble route will replace the back flaring here. Let's take a look at a few of these. The outside widest receiver to the call will run a go route. Let's take the top off. Cover three, we like to work to the, to the boundary. Cover two, we like to work to the field where the holes are a little bit bigger. Sometimes your matchup is is really good one way or the other and you'll just go with it. But you see a nice job here, the receiver going underneath the backer, getting to the next area drop, sitting down, finding the window. Up top, the X should try to get inside here, okay, and then just sit down. The corner squeezes him, so the ball would go to the flat if you went up top. But again, cover two, we like to work to the field. Cover three, we like to work to the boundary or the one receiver side. There's a nice picture of it. Here you've got a three by one set. Now you see a linebacker come off the edge and disappear. Wide receiver gets his head around right now, expecting the ball. See him roll, spin the safeties here. Tight end does a nice job of flaring and running the bubble route in this case. Up top, getting in the hole between the two backers. They clamp you. Ball should go outside. pitch and catch. Here we're two by two with the tight end, in this case being off the ball, running the bubble route. See, we're going to get in between the two defenders, the outside backer and the inside backer here to the field. In the boundary, we're trying to work inside here, settle in that window, really stretch there. You see the backer run, put the back to the field. We should settle up in that hole, get the ball, and then get vertical. Here's the end zone copy. You see a nice window there with the backer dropping off. Here we're in 20 personnel. Cover two. Mike's usually working strong. Cover two. You got some big windows over here. Back stretches. Need to get outside on this go route to the field. In the boundary. Pretty nice job there, finding an open window trying to get there. He wasn't walled back flares. Got a little soft window in there. First and 10, third and medium. Nice little throw here to get you four or five yards, settle up in the windows, maybe break a tackle, get more. Again, 20 personnel, two backs, three wides. You got a two shell, drop down to a one shell. They buzz the safety strong. You work strong because of the initial. Now you see the receiver going over the top of the backer because he's snugged up, steps up, stays level, go around him, work that window. You see how the flaring of the back pulls the defenders out, and then they have to readjust. Good job there. Again, you're looking for a long handoff here, five to six yards. Anything after that to bonus. Here, you've got a cover two shell to the boundary. Quarters look to the field. 
You got an inside backer now that's running. Now you know to get your head around right now, look for the ball, some type of zone blitz. Get the ball on the run, fine. If you don't, then you're settling in that window because you know it's a zone, not man. Packers giving you a man flash look. That should tell you get your head around right now. Look at that nice big window between the mic and the outside linebacker here to the left. Now we should just pitch and catch, put it on him, have an opportunity to turn up field, get some extra yardage. Three by one here. We'll have a bubble by number three to the field. Outside receiver should run a go. Number two receiver here has got to get in between play side backer and the inside backer. See the corner bell up top. Back's got a stretch. See him squeeze off the X. Will it clamp him down? Now you toss the ball out here to the back. Get you five plus yards or more. Go through your read progression. Spot to the back. Here in three by one again, you notice the linebacker flashing. Get your head around right now. You see him running. So you're going in between him anyway, or over the top, depending, but getting inside of him. Bam, you can stick the ball on him. Pull your drop. Got a weak side defender coming free. Got to have a hot. That would be your hot as he's coming in. He's looking on his third step. We get man. Don't get the ball. Stick your foot down. Come back out. Just take a look from the end zone. See him stick it on him right here. You see the backer disappear. Throw it right off his ear hole. Okay, got a strip stack look. Here the quarterback and receiver have a lot of confidence. They've been working together, have a good feel for this play. See him work it in right here, right off the backer's ear hole. Goes right around him, balls, balls place right on the money. Get positive yardage. Watch it from the end zone. Back here is splitting the difference between tackle and the guard. Sprinting, one, two, three, then he'll get his head around. You see him put it on the wide receiver right now. You see that defender being pulled out by the back. We just work right in behind him. 